Hello everyone. We shall look at how to investigate the charging and discharging of a capacitor. We all know that around this time it's very difficult uh, getting to classrooms to carry out physical experiments using the um, hard components. So I'm just doing this so that if you are a student and you've been asked to carry out such uh, an uh, experiment involving resistor and a capacitor, then you could use this software. I'm using Multisim. There are many softwares around uh, Yanka and the rest, FET and so on. So you can use this. And now, uh, what I've done already is the charging and uh, the charging up to this point, the charging of the capacitor, and then the discharging also took this curve. Okay, so uh, what I have here is one complete cycle. Uh, that is uh, one complete cycle, which is the charging and the discharge, dis discharging of the capacitor, and it took uh, about 50, fifty-eight point, uh, no, yeah, fifty-eight point six seconds. Okay. Actually, that is correct because if I look at the time constant for this, I used uh, the resistor value is the resistor value is ten k, and then the um, capacitor the capacitance of the capacitor is five hundred um, microfarad. So if you multiply the two to give it a time constant, it gives you five seconds, and uh, um, for 99% of the charge which is equivalent or equal to five time constants that will be five times uh, five which is 25 seconds and the discharge should also approximately take the uh, same uh, time uh, five time constant okay so actually it's correct and it's within the time range here now um, what i want us to do is to look at few things here before we do that i'm just going to show you this here because you may be asked to plot the graph yourself okay so if you are asked to plot the graph then you have to have these headings here you have to have this uh, call up headings the time capacitor voltage uh, resistor voltage then the current and the power and then you time it you, you have to have a, a timer with you and time the charging of the capacitor okay uh, so for example if you are charging at the time zero zero the charge on the capacitor will be zero and then um, the whole uh, voltage the source voltage will be registered on the resistor but as the time goes by the charge on the capacitor will be, in, will be incre increasing and the one on the cap uh, resistor will be decreasing so um, that is what you have to do and then at the end you plot a graph of uh, voltage on the capacitor against time on the reverse to that is when it's discharged and again you have to plot a graph have your values this way and then um, the capacitor the charge on the capacitor or the voltage across the capacitor that will be the maximum voltage stored on the capacitor and then you start timing it as you discharge the capacitor through the resistor and that is what you have to do here at the end of it you plot a graph of capacitor voltage against the time or you can plot some uh, you can plot current against time and so on now let's go back to this one here um, the reason why I've got this resistor here connected in series with the capacitor is to increase the time span with which the capacitor will, will charge and that is what we call the uh, time constant the time constant constant is how long it takes the capacitor to charge so one time constant the capacitor the charge or the voltage across the um, capacitor plates will be 63 percent and then uh, five time constant the voltage across the capacitor stored on the capacitor plates will be um, 99.32%. So now let's do this simulation here. Well, I've got these two switches here, which I would like to uh, explain to you. 
the two switches here so quickly what i would just explain to you is that this switch here divide the circuit into two as it is now it's now connected only to the capacitor is connected only to the resistor and it will just discharge through the resistor if i take it up here what will happen is that the capacitor is now connected to the source voltage and it will be charged through the source voltage i've also got this one here as to which is to provide a short circuit for the capacitor to be discharged the reason is that let me take you back here to this circuit here when if you can see here this capacitor has got 50 450 volts so to make sure that you don't get electrocution when you touch this leads you have to discharge it by uh, maybe putting a screwdriver the blade of the screwdriver across this just to discharge it and that is why i, I did that in the circuit here just to quickly discharge the capacitor so let's quickly go on there and um the time constant for this that is one time constant is five seconds when you multiply ten thousand k by 500 microfarad it gives you five seconds so let's start the simulation now and i would want to have I would want to have uh, I would want to have both the, the schematic and then that diagram here so what we are going to do now is to start a simulation here then I'll click in here so that I can manipulate my time here and I will make sure it's set to five seconds here per division. So we're doing it for the next uh, probably 25 seconds or 30 seconds. So this is the charging of the kef and when I put the kef it tells me uh, the time and then the voltage here. Now let's see uh, 5 seconds and see how much voltage was stored on it should be about 60. <coughs> so 5 seconds somewhere here. So that is about five seconds somewhere there and that was four point something volts stored on it there.
So I will just stop it here. It's uh, uh, slightly above five time constant. I will stop it there. And then uh, what we so this is the charging curve. Okay, this gives you the charging curve of the capacitor. And after this, and like I told you, as it was charging, what you need to do is to have your timer and you read every, for example, every 30 seconds and uh, read the voltage across the capacitor by looking at the voltmeter and then putting it here. So in the end, you will plot your graph here for the charging. Now let's quickly go to the discharging and then let's switch it back on here and start the discharge so let's look at the curve that it, that will also take <coughs> and with this one to again you have to watch here and be taking your radians you have to watch and be taking your reading and putting the radians right in here for example it was charged to 9 11.9 .9 something so that should be the start and at the time zero and then you keep on putting the values in here you keep on wa watching the voltmeter and then putting the values here so that you can plot your graph so you keep taking the values here every for example every 30 seconds it's, uh, it, it depends on which time interval you want to use, 10 seconds, 20, 50, it's fine. So this is how the cap will look like and in the end you will plot your graph. You will plot your graph. So uh, this is the voltage now is uh one eighty six point sorry my micro farad, which is zero point something so my uh, micro uh, millivolts which is not on something volts so i will just end this and then we we'll look at what the graph looks like now so this is the charging of it and this is what the discharge of it here and the maximum time we have taken actually uh, we've taken a longer time than the uh, required time but uh, for the whole cycle the time should have been uh, 50 50 micro uh, so 50 seconds so somewhere here from here to there that is the charging and discharging for one complete cycle that is uh, comprises of that comprises of uh, the charging and the discharging thank you very much for watching